Hi everyone and welcome back. Welcome to my YouTube channel and here we are talking about second session of uh, Stack Overflow clone app. I promised to do it in one video but uh, I really don't have that much time of 5 hours so that I can continue the video for 5 hours. So I will be do dividing in this into the multiple uh, day session and every day I might be covering one and a half hour session on developing this Stack Overflow full stack clone application okay so in the last video we talked about this uh, database structure these database entities now in this video we are just continuing from the first video where we wherever we have left so there is already a, this is a playlist so you know which is the first video which is second and which is third we are on the second day session and second video and these are the entities now we are going to work on the api side building the apis for the questions answers and comments so here uh, let's go to our code where is our code? Uh, so, ta -ta 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 -ta. yes, here is our code, and this is our entities, right? Let's first play with these entities and uh, play with the type of RM uh, relationships. Okay, so we have like this questions, questions, question ID will be a reference for and key inside answers entity, and answer ID will be a reference inside a comments table, right? So we go to the questions table. And we already have these uh, variables and types already defined. What I will do, this is the origin table, right? So this is going to have one to many relationship with answers. Okay, so this is, uh, okay, I will tell you what I'm doing. It's like a one to many means one question will, will belongs to multiple answers. So this, go, this goes one to many answers entity. Okay, one to many answers entity okay and the props is source props so you can see uh, question okay and the target props you can say answers all the answers of this question and we have answers entity this is like a placeholder i always keep to relate these things so here we have a one to many now we will define many to one venue to one inside answers entity right this is how the relationships really works here it is many to one right so it will be a source entity so it is a question entity and inside question entity we are pointing to the answers event start answers okay and this is my this will become source id so this will become question id so question id will be a reference foreign key inside the answers table okay and this is going to be question entity and the source props is question right we'll just import whatever is required from the typo rm and we are done now when you start the applications and type rm sync is true then it will also it will just create a foreign key from questions to the answer so you can see one to many means one question belongs to many answers so one question entity record will uh, relate, relate to the multiple answers entity record and the props here is answers same props we need to put here this is the answers you can see question entity so here many to one means many answers entity will point to a single question entity so question id will be a join column means foreign key reference column of uh, source table is the id okay same thing we will do for the answers to the comment right so question entity so now this will become a primary table which will have a primary key and foreign key inside a comments table so it's like a one to many relationship here and that will be for the comments entity so we are an answers entity this is comments entity and this is instead of question this will be okay comments okay let me think this is the question entity we put the question so this is answer entity okay and this is answer entity so it will become a comment entity and this is one to many so it will be an array and here i will say comments on this particular answer right so now we will just copy this thing in our comments entity to define the relationship 
So this is pointing to uh, answer entity. Answer entity and this is pointing to event dot. What was uh, our reference? We created a question. Reference was the comment. So inside comment entity event dot comment join column. Let's import all those things first using typo rm add missing imports and this is pointing to the answers entity and here i can say answer because this is like a single answer having a multiple comments so many to one means many uh, comments will point to a single answer entity answer record right so this is answer uh, props and this is the comments and you can see inside answers we have a comments and this is pointing to the answer okay so while creating deleting uh, while creating you need to populate the answer for this question okay for which particular answer this comment belongs to so automatically it will populate the answer id we are talking about sql and uh, here this is the postgres database and we are writing type rm entities now whenever you do type rm sync it should be able to create these foreign key relationships inside a uh, comment entity and the answers entity so primary question id primary key question id will be a foreign key inside answers table and answers table primary key id will be a foreign key inside a comments entity okay so this is like a simple uh, relationships we have created now we will do just uh, start this application and see all these database created uh, in our system so now we are starting our application and pm run start dev and i can see that these tables have been created and though these tables we can also see in the database tools you can see the questions answers and comment this is the questions table uh, you can see the structure and the relationship uh, here is the question text tag technology comment and here is the answers table which has the foreign key relationship with the help of uh, question id right and then there is a comment comment is also having a parent id uh, so there is a self join self reference is added in the comments table and then answer id is the foreign key inside a comments table so if you see this is my comments table i put uh, another block here to have a self reference so this parent id is actually referring as a foreign key where the primary key is the table of this uh, primary key is the id of this table itself right many to one means one uh, one id can belongs to uh, multiple records having that id as a parent id okay so this is called a self reference in the same table there is a primary key foreign key exist okay so this is like a simple table structure we have created for our apis now if i want to create uh, apis then we can simply create answer controller comment controller and all so let's create them answer controller dot ts okay then we have okay why, why this is an error okay 3000 port is already in use if I just terminate it and start this again I mean ideally it should not happen it is reloading the same application and then saying 3000 port is occupied okay I need to just terminate the port lsof uh, minus i 3000 kill minus 9 okay and then I can start the application again our flow api is npm run start dev so it will start my application okay that is running so that is good now we will just create the controller services and uh, all these providers and all the components we can also talk about okay in the building blocks of uh, nest js we can create a pipe interceptors and uh, injectable providers so for now what do we have is a controller similarly i will create a service service.ts so 
so we got service controller similarly this controller and service i will create in the comment also and similarly in the questions i will just change the name so this is a question controller and question service similarly this is a comment controller comment service because uh, these these are total different three different entities and their controllers and services can be totally independent so this is comment service and then we also need to have a comment module answer module and question module those we can import inside a domain module so here i will just add a question dot module dot ts and this module will be added everywhere this will become answer module answer module and this is comments module i kept it as a singular so let's remove the s from here so this is the question controller question module question service now uh, what we can do is we just start uh, filling these controllers and services so if you talk about a simple controller structure how it really looks like it's just like uh, we can just copy our existing templates or some from somewhere so this is my question controller right so this is my question controller i will just say questions this is the api tag and this is my controller tag controller annotation okay and then uh, ta -ta -ta -ta. i will just clean up stuff i mean we don't need these imports i will just remove them okay and we need a service so what we can do is here we can import the question service from the same folder currently that service is empty but we are going to create a question service which is going to access these type rm repositories and then there is an app constant app constant we can create inside the source folder so app constant is nothing but okay some constant variables and constant files some export const these are like some uh, default messages which you want to show when like no entity found entity was created accepted these things we can expose in the documentations so this is app constant and then there is a question service we will create that and that we are going to inject inside a controller sorry inside a constructor so this is private read only what i'm writing private read only service and we are talking about question service here right and then you will define your methods so what all different methods we have inside a question so simply question controller will have a get put post delete patch right so uh, i will start adding a couple of things so here is like let's say we are trying i'm trying to fetch all the questions so i will just fix all these imports first these are like the default imports which you need to add first of all i will add that uh, for the get we are using i'm looking for get and the method is public async get all questions right so get all questions means uh, this is the api v1 questions which is talking about give me all the questions right so we will update the api response also like what is the in the swagger what should we show this is like uh, okay api should return all questions return question successfully 
okay give me all the questions so what it will use it will use service so i will just say return this dot await this dot service because that will be a sync again await this dot search service dot get all questions and now we need to build a service the service is the question service that we are exporting from this question service right so how the service looks like a simple service is okay it is just a simple class if i just start try to write it export class question service right this should use injectable so that we can inject that inside a controller right and it will have a constructor inside constructor you will inject uh, the repositories and all right so how we inject a repository the type rm repositories so we just do fire private read only and if i remember uh, it should start with inject repository inject okay this some this looks something like this inject repository and you specify the entities and your entity name is okay what is your entity name here is inject repository and we are talking about question entity and then for this we have a private question repo private question repo repository why it's not fetching the type rm imports Okay, so I will just try to manually add these repositories and all from the type RM. So inject repository is coming from nest.js type RM. Oh, it's not populating. Inject repository, private question repo, and this is of type repository. of type this entity i mean this is just a simple syntax to inject this repository so that we can access this entity okay private repository okay question repo this is simple injection of the repository inside your service so this service can do a read write using read write to the questions table using this question repo let me make it more readable so this is for a uh, one single entity now if you want to in inject other entities also we can do that okay so the this question service will create a question update a question delete a question all those different operations are going to be executed here so we will write all the methods like async the simple method is create question and i will i will just skip these parts because you already know how to work with the typo rms to save basic things like you are getting payload from the the request then how can you create update delete these bas basic operations you can just wrap this inside a try catch and put some loggings if let's say if there is an any, any error okay inside this try catch uh, you will create the repository so there are different ways to create a simple operation right you can just do if you are getting a payload then you can just use simply return await this dot question repo dot save and you pass the whole payload so whatever the payload we are getting let's say we are getting payload of type some dto for now i have type any and i will just pass that payload so that's it this is the type forum stuff which will just uh create this entity throw error we can also just log it so this is the correct create question so what it is doing is you are putting a fresh payload i should be able to create a question and this is all create question similarly get all questions so if i talk about get all questions but all those questions i mean you may be a random user looking for all the questions you can also apply filter on top of that 
for now if you just want to do a just get all question report dot find and pass empty parenthesis that means you want to fetch all the questions without any paginations or any kind of filtering right you just want to return all the questions which exist in the database okay then we can build other apis maybe uh, on top of this we can implement a simple search okay you might can enter a particular tag you can enter a particular text and that text we are going to search for a particular column and then we will just return a particular list so there can be a simple search api search with pagination also we can do uh, so search with pagination this is a simple typo rm we can just use a query builder and there are some columns in the questions if you see the question entity what all on which you will apply search the question text okay yes i can do that on the tags tags is of type worker comma separated so we can do that technology name of technology like java node.js python go based on the, that we can fetch the set of questions okay so let's build a simple search apis and uh, search apis like uh, we have questions right so questions you can you can enter a tag okay I'm, i want to fetch all the questions of java node.js ruby python or you can just pass a, some simple search text where you can specify okay i'm looking for uh, something uh, just a full text because here we are not doing elastic search a full text search we can just uh, match okay whatever you are typing as a search keyword is a part of some search question text in some record and we will fetch it this is the minimum we can do with the postgres simple uh, sql query uh, search expression like uh, in sql query we do select star from this table where name i like um, name like and you can put the expression right those kind of a simple search query we can build so what we are going to do is we are going to pass uh, a dto so this is a question controller and this is get and then we can also talk about simple post so this is fetching all the questions and then this is uh, created this is post api should re return created question returned created question successfully api created response okay we can also specify type that is response dto type we can build and it is doing create question and here you need to specify the payload so how we spec create a payload using body right okay body and this is let's say the body and there is some dto we are going to define right so let's say question uh, body dto and here we can create a type for the search also so this is the get all right so these all will be how we are going to pass all these parameters a path parameter these all will be a query parameter we are going to pass in our apis so that uh, whenever you pass these query parameters we should be able to fetch all these properties through the controller so inside controller these will be the query parameters so how we specify is at the rate query so this is how we can specify same as body we can specify query and there will be some dto let's say we are just putting search param dto so, and you will specify your search criteria here so we have two DT dtos we need to define both the dtos in our uh, dto.ts file so we can create a question dot dto.ts file and here we can start uh, creating okay how the dto looks like and all so the export class the dto name is search param dto right and here we start specifying okay what is your search term and all so we can specify that search term should match with the name description and we will import all the the required attributes like api property and all so all these things get exposed on the swagger also so we have a search term and search term will try to match uh, anything uh, which you have entered inside a question text similarly we have tags because uh, we have technology tags 
so we will specify the tags and then uh, okay these are the search criteria in the tags we are going to transform because uh, how we are going to pass all the tags together right so i want this api something like this i will try to explain so our api will be like this so api v1 that's a questions and i want like if there are multiple tags so how you should be able to pass tags equal to uh let's say the node.js java python fetch me all the questions where tags are equal to like this or there are many ways in which you can build this api through the nest.js either you do it like this so tags equal to first tag is java and then keep adding the tags the next js will transform into it into an array so again tags equal to node.js and then tags equal to ruby right the programming languages so this also is fine what we are going to do is we are going to pass all these uh, query params as a comma separated arguments so and then we will just because this is a string we can split that string and convert that string into an array and this transform we are importing from class transformer so why that is creating a problem transform type so we are transforming whatever the value you are passing uh, inside these tags for search into a comma separated strings okay type of the value and the params are incompatible so value is value is string this value is params are incompatible let's say this value i'm passing is a string then what i'm doing type of value equal equal to string if it is true then we will just split this otherwise we will return the value so this is like a transformation we are doing on top of the value transform is coming from class transformer class transformer that is fine i mean till now it used to work class validator class transformer class validator uh, let me see what is this error argument type value string is giving me string array is not assignable to parameter transform param options transform function params is not assignable to i mean maybe this is on the the class validator latest version i will check on these typing issues so this is how we can just pass the tags and then there is another thing is if you want to search for particular technology that we are already covering in the search term so if you look into our database table what all we have technology tags question text so whenever you are passing a search keyword i will match that with, with the technology or search text or you can also pass uh, some tags comma separated tags so this is our search and then this is not at not all uh, you can also because this is uh, going to be a paginated api so what we are going to do is we can also take two more inputs which is uh, page limit and offset so like on which page because the pagination means you will ask okay which page you want to fetch and how what is the limit so here we are transforming the all the inputs which we are getting because in the query parameters all you get as a string you can transform that into a number so this is the transformation we are doing through the type okay now uh, this dto we can use in our controller question controller search param dto and just import this dto and we are already using this you can see the validation pipe so if you are just uh, messing up with with the types then it will complain you can't just pass number or any random types for these dto types and then question body dto that also we can define so here it will be export class question body dto so what all attributes you think are required so is nullable no no question text we need technology nullable no so ta, 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 ta. 
the label yes so let me check the entity first question entity default null for the tags okay technology can also be it should also be nullable tags is nullable question text we can see required comment is obviously nullable uuid i mean the user uuid can be null because uh, it's not necessary that uh, every question will have a user id but like if you are submitting a question then you must be a logged in user right so that i can track your user id and can show the user information who created the question on the stack overflow okay answers so we need to create the question body dto and now we already understood okay what is required and what is optional so is our server running because this due to this build errors the server is not running question body dto we will just import this in the controller and then i think this dto validation let me just comment it for now okay it is working and then because we changed the entities you can see these all types also changed so now these are nullable so what we need to take care about is a question text tags is like a comma separated string we are going to take from the the request and the technology is also a string so your payload should have only question text tags and technology okay question controller question body dto and here it is going to have three properties question text technology and tags we can use this api property so i'm talking about question text which is required so this is question text tags and another thing is a technology tags should also be of type string example you can specify example like okay i'm passing java node.js react this is the tags and then question text tags and technology so this is how you create a input dto right technology name like java okay so example is also java this is not for search text for creating a question okay simple is the this is how we are going to create a tags this is how we are going to create a simple question so we created a simple dto question body dto that DTO we are importing inside a question controller as you can see question body DTO here we will just pass this body which is of question body DTO all questions body which is of type question body DTO and you will just pass this question body DTO okay not here we need to pass it on to other place I was talking about this payload and I will just say body okay so this is how we will do the create question and then get all questions here you can just pass this search search dto because if you go to the controller uh, it is complaining get all questions this is created so it should be a create question things are resolved and this is uh, get all questions where we are passing search dto so we need to pass the query which is of type search param dto search param dto so it will tell us okay what all uh, query parameters you are sending to request like okay search by tags search by simple keyword what is the page limit and offset page and limit that will just give make this api a uh, paginated api right so we can do a pagination can search for particular criteria and, and can return a particular page based on the offset and limit so let's see our controller and services uh, currently we are talking about question controller question dto we have created so inside body we are going to pass a couple of properties question text uh, tags and technology to for creating the questions and so we have a controller we have entity already there simple module so i didn't add 
any fancy stuff here this is simple question module so it is consuming question entity question controller question service and then this is our domain module where i will import the question module that's it okay so in, inside question controller uh, let's see what we are doing currently these apis are not protected so this is controller questions bearer auth is authorization so api tag is question so first api is the get okay so this is fine it is taking query params the first second api should be post not get it is about creating the new questions and it is taking this body as an input okay and this is creating returning a status code 201 and this is returning status code 200 so let's try to reload the page so this is where our api specs are there this is a query parameter you can see we are passing search term tags page and limit right so this is a questions api which is giving uh, giving you all the questions based on these filter criteria and page and limit this is creating a default question so currently if i pass this maybe it will fail because i haven't tested internal server error we are missing some required attributes so which we are not passing so here i can see when i check the logs it is talking about uh, question text of relation question violate well it's not null constraint okay so it's questions text should be coming from the body right okay question body dto it is questions text so we did mistake there is a typo then tags and technology see what is nullable and not nullable from here so user id is nullable yes created at these are the default columns so this we are passing so it should be able to create the question now if i just pass it questions text must be longer than two here if i pass if i hit this api again okay it has created a simple question right you can see this question has been created user id right now is null but it should not be nullable if you are creating question because you cannot be anonymous for for now this uh, this is the simple demo we are doing so we will say okay you should be logged in to submit a question otherwise what you can do is you can just search the existing questions and can just look into the answers even if you want to submit an answer you must log in so that we can store your session and can say okay this is the user who has submitted the answer of this question okay so this is simple questions we are able to create and then we can just use this uh, simple search apis this questions simple filter api which is taking search term tags and page limit to fetch the results currently it's not doing anything it is just doing a simple find operation now we will change this implementation so we are taking search query dto this is post this is get get all questions and we are passing the query params and okay so what else we can do So here we are doing get all questions so here we will start doing a building a query because in the apis you can pass a question text tags or the technology and based on all these attributes we need to uh, create a query and execute that query and also take care of these page limit and offset page and limit is these two arguments we are getting based on that uh, written the result in the page generated api format okay so for that uh, what we are going to do is let's say uh, here we are getting the search query params so what we will do here is we got all the questions so we are getting query so from query we will try to extract the attributes so okay what is this typo const query and inside query what all we are getting uh, we are getting tags which is array there is another thing is i think search text search term and is there anything else okay these are the two attributes we are getting and then there is a page and the limit okay 
so these are the attributes we are getting uh, while we are doing a simple search so now what we need to do is we need to write a simple query builder and then perform the operation so query builder will build a simple query and there we will just execute all these uh, different different logics we have so let's see how we build a simple search uh, we are already taking input tag search term page and limit here and now we can just construct a simple query and then uh, so what all different columns we have we can create a simple columns uh, const columns of this table which you want to include in the search results let's say i want to have all the different columns of this table and the table or columns are question text tags and technology question text tags and technology and we also because this is a pagination so we also need to fetch all the what is the total count of all these results right so you for getting that uh if it, there is a small sql hack you can add that count as a simple column in the response table so you don't need to create an additional query to get the count and do the pagination you can do is give me this uh, additional query result as a count which is doing this count star so whatever the results we are getting give me the count and that will be part of your uh, result set as a separate column okay and then uh, these are the columns let's say we are talking about in the the result set i can also talk about the join because uh, these are the two tables which we need to fetch questions and the answers associated to individual question for now we are just talking about simple question table so these are the columns and these columns so let's say here we are getting the pagination and offset like the page and limit so what we will do is we are getting the search term dto we already have a page and limit from the query okay now we can just start creating the query so let query so it's going to be a simple query builder with a string what happened Okay, this can be query input so this is query input and inside query this is a SQL query so you can simply say select and we already have these columns right which we declared on the top these columns we are going to use so columns dot join comma separated i mean if you this is if you have like tons of columns and you don't want to specify them in the sql query and your table name from questions okay simple query now here we will start adding uh, the clauses where conditions and all here for now we will just add one simple where clause so this is my table so simple where close i can just put uh, where user id not null or uh, id not null or deleted at uh, what should be the condition question text uh, not null text not null and then i mean this is like i need to put something as a where so that i can start appending uh the where question text equal to this tags equal to this so this is the first where clause now based on the conditions are you passing me the tags if you are passing me the tags then i will append the search criteria for the tags are you passing me the search text from the query parameter so there is a search term so if you are passing me the search term i should be able to append that in the query so if you are passing me the search term then i will just create a const query string that is uh, what can what will be the query string look like this is like okay i will just compare a questions text question text i like 
this is because this is postgres and we are just comparing it with this expression question text equal to search term similarly there is something uh, we can add for technology because this is or operator either it match with this or it get matched with uh, this right so this is question text i like so similarly there is a technology technology i like uh, search term and this if the search term is being passed we will just update our query equal to our existing query we have so this is our existing query and then and this is our substring this query string which we have created if the search term is being passed okay so we got the updated query now if the tags are being passed so tags is an array so for const tag of uh, tags and here we will try to append the query so what i'm saying is tag of tags so here also we will create a simple query string and we'll keep appending so initially query string is empty let's say const query string and if you are passing me the array of tags let's say java node.js python so what i will do is i will just create a query string and this query string we will append whatever is there in the existing query string which is empty it's like creating a simple query con uh, string concatenation so query string we have and then if we will start appending this is our query string which ends like this okay select start from questions where question id not null and here if this search term is being passed then what you will do is query and query string okay and then if a query string is there we will start adding okay and search term and tags right so we will just say is or because there can be a multiple tags so it's ideally should be or simple or operation query string or simply tag uh, i like query expression simple tag okay so it this query string uh, we will keep appending on the query string that is not const and then once this is done because query string will also become uh, a query as partial sub query so we need to append this if the tags are being passed and the tags length is greater than zero that means some tag are being passed so after this is done what we will do is query equal to query uh, we'll just concat the existing query whatever we had from the above steps so we will just say query and then this is end because you are passing two different criteria tags and the search term query string okay so this this is the place where we got the whole query now what we will do is we will start executing this query so from here we can just say const questions equal to await this dot question repo dot uh, how we can execute a query simply call query and pass the query string and this will give us okay what is the total count and all these things we should be able to receive so we'll just do a percent so how we will get the total counts so in every record in every records like let's say the zeroth record exists and then inside the zeroth record we will just access the count property that will give us the total count if this property doesn't exist then total count is zero 
and then what we are going to return from this api is set of profiles set of questions set of questions and total count we still need to do pay, use the page and limit okay this questions is outside so await this dot questions what happened okay sorry sometimes i not able to see things questions and total count so questions dot query here we also need to consider the pagination so how would we do this let's say paginations you are always going to pass so we will just update the query here so this is was our query this is our updated query and this is how we are going to update this is my query and i can just do order by let's say border by we are going to do with the questions text that is by some column you need to do order by ascending and uh, limit we need to specify limit we already have a pagination limit right so we already have a limit parameter offset we need to pass offset in the sql query and offset is a skipped items so how many items we need to skip that skipped items we can uh, we can uh, we can come to know okay which page you want to access and what is the page limit so here uh, we have i think page i'm just trying to see this and then limit this will become skipped items which we can pass in our offset that means these are the number of items i wanted to skip so i can just pass that in the offset of our of our query so here we can say offset and dollar give the items okay this becomes the, the overall query after doing this tags okay we looks like we missed one closing parenthesis if tags tags dot length then only we will just do this substring and then limit and uh, limit and uh, page and you will always provide that is required we already have their default value so this is becoming your default value and then we will just remove this i think we have additional closing parenthesis now this looks correct so this is how we can just create a simple query and then execute a query and get the re results so either you are passing a search term i will be searching that against the questions text or the technology or if you are passing the comma separated tags then te each and every tags will have a over close right so we are just passing query string i think because this is and and these are the multiple or statement so it's better that we just close that inside uh, brackets query string otherwise we will get a sql error right query and this query string where uh, tags like equal to this tags or tag like equal to this or tag like equal to this right so let's play with this simple search and then uh, we will proceed further building other apis and then we also need to build a simple package which does the firebase token validations and extract uh, the user id and the email of the logged in user for our apis so let's check our apis i'm trying to hit here the questions okay i'm passing tags and i'm getting internal server error okay so let's try to debug this why that is coming and how can we fix it uh, it's all about troubleshooting so because coding is just a five percent rest all it's uh, troubleshooting and uh, i don't know let me restart this application why this 3000 foot is always getting occupied and i need to manually kill it that is something strange happening on my system and now we can start this application again fresh okay so what we are doing here is the, we are just doing simple find operation okay simple query i like okay search term if the tags is 
the if you are passing tags so this is a simple fix i did for a one of my a one of the issue in the query so you cannot just put query string or you need to check if the query string is already there some string we have already generated in the first loop if not then we will just say tags i like equal i like uh, this is a search tag right so because the query is like this from questions where question text is not null and then this is we are putting end right so this query string if uh, there is empty query string then we will just start uh, start the query like this tags i like this or so we will see uh, what sql query we are generating and then i will explain you how this is making difference okay so can i just execute i will just do search and i'm getting internal server error that is saying any end doesn't exist so this is because i put the logger true in the type orm options uh next just type or option so i'm getting this query okay limit is undefined offset is undefined so let's fix that first limit is let's say page is i'm passing first page limit is 10 okay my query works i got the count question text tags in technology right so this is what my final query is running if you just see the query okay so the query is simply select star from this and then where close question text is not null order by this and this right so let's say if i'm passing tags which i am already passing this is let's say the java okay this i'm passing tags and i'm not able to see that uh, search happening based on this query so how we will debug it we will first of all we will try to install this debug and verbose so we can actually debug this uh, question service debug we will get from debug otherwise we will add this uh, npm module here so api stack overflow apis will go to the packages cd api cd apps and pnpm add debug okay and then what we can do is uh, here we are using apis so verbose we can just try to print uh, what is the value coming so here get all questions search query params so i can just simply do verbose and i can just print the whole query input payload what are we getting inside this and to start using this what you need to do is you need to close this and add an environment variable with apis in the debug so go to your code inside env add this environment variable debug equal to apis start slash so it's like it's enabling the debug to print all the console logs whatever we are putting in the verbo verbose error and all okay going to our controller controller and service i think this should uh, this will resolve import from debug okay let me debug import this import debug from debug okay so we will start our application again npm run start dev okay so it should start this is a very strange error okay maybe i need to kill this i need to check if there is any other process running on 3000 which i'm not sure where it is coming from which is breaking my work lots many times 
so let's start our application and then what i'm trying to do is i'm trying to check what the query params we are getting and how that is being transformed into sql so here we can see we are checking if the tags dot length is greater than zero then apply this search text if the search term is being passed then apply this search text so here uh, let's do this question question okay try it out search term let's say hello and tags java page is one limit is 20 click on search now what is the query it is forming that is important so it is comparing with the question text that is good but what about the tags because we are passing the tags and this is my search input which we are getting that should be coming on the console where that is so we are using verbose and this code is being executed verbose query input let me see so this is how we, we can set up a simple logging debug api colon forward slash i updated this in the environment variable is it uh, printing these variables or not i mean right now i don't see the verbose uh, being logged anywhere i was trying to print the query input so we can see what is the the parameters we are getting so inside env i put this debug okay yes that is the problem we were overriding it So this is how uh, we can just do smart console logging and can see things okay i will try to execute this again and now i can see that tags are going undefined okay that's strange and why because if you remember we were when we were writing dto we were doing some manipulation on this uh, tags question dto it was all about how we are transforming the properties right and tags for search i was trying to transform this tags into an array and recently there is a change in the syntax earlier it was transform value is of type string then you can transform it into if the the string is being passed comma separated so i was just checking and debugging this uh, breaking change is there so now it is saying we need to pass the value inside as an object and then it will transform it okay transform value let's see if i'm passing value here uh, as an object and inside this uh, this is of type any value value of type of value is a string then split it otherwise on split it so this is somehow not working okay so what we can do is i will check uh, what is this change in this particular version we can at least pass this tag as a simple string right instead of just an array it can be simple each string so we will just take this string as a simple comma separated string and then here only we will just convert this this into a comma separated the string we can just split and uh, convert that into an array tags dot split and that will convert into an array right now i can just uh, ask this this is fine java node.js and let's see the sql query now you can see we are getting the tag search term and page limit and my sql query is like this so now we are able to apply the search on the tags also so the search query is select some columns from this table uh, where question text is not null and and if you are passing search a uh, search term we are passing and this should match with the search term and the tag should match tags any of these tags should match with the tag in the database right so we can just get the required results we let's we let's say we create a couple of records in the database with the node.js and java 
so question text contains java is it creating okay we are getting some records so now i'm passing java node.js and all and i can see the results so a simple pagination right one page and i just want uh, in, from second page and the limit is 10 so it should return only three records because there are total 13 if i just talk about page one and give me all the records 100 then it will give me all the records together if i just say page one limit one it will give me one record then page two limit two it will give me two records from page two so i mean this is how the pagination works i hope you're already aware and then instead of just showing only these four columns we can also do the join we can show all the columns of the questions so question text like how to install java how to install nvm in node.js and their tags descriptions uh, technology set all these we can fetch so this is a simple api we are able to perform some questions apis create update delete also those CRUD operations we can add this is all, all about core how we are uh, doing a simple uh, search and how we are able to create questions now update and delete we can add and then we can also link the question answers api because question is created now you can submit answers so you need to be logged in user so now let's talk about the authentication because uh, a firebase user will carry the jwt token to access these apis so we, we need to build an auth package here in our code this is our simple apis right and inside the packages we can create a simple api auth this is a package name which will take care of firebase uh, validating the token i mean validation of firebase token and it uses the passport module there is a firebase passport module which extract the token from the authorization header and validate it using firebase admin package if the token is valid then it will just uh, because once you decode the payload and pay, uh, token is valid then it uh, it returns you the payload which you can attach on the request.user so your user object is available throughout the session if the token is valid and not expired so we need to work on this auth package so which we are going to do here api auth we already have created a simply types package and all so we will just add those set of dependencies let's say just config package config source i will just put this here and then i will just update the we don't need we, i will just clean up the source folder and here we will add some code about uh, firebase uh, passport firebase uh, jwt strategy how to extract the token from the headers and validate it uh, using uh, this uh, firebase admin apis okay so what all we need uh, for validating the token so let's say this is our front end and it is sending the firebase token to the apis so how do we validate i mean indirectly it is very simple approach you use firebase admin and just verify firebase admin package provides you one method first you need to initialize the firebase server side and just then you can just do dot verify like json web token provides jwt dot sign and verify methods so you will send this token to the apis and then we are creating this simple auth package which provides two things auth guard and auth strategy so it is providing auth guard and auth strategy okay so what auth guard is auth guard you can attach to the controller in the apis okay whenever the request comes execute this auth guard which uses this uh, auth, st uh, auth strategy and there are different strategy like a default jwt strategy or here we are going to use uh, uh, passport firebase jwt strategy so this auth guard will just protect your api routes and then it will tell the api routes okay go and talk to the strategy this auth strategy which is just extracting the token from the authorization header using the firebase admin to validate the token if everything is good then it will return the payload return the payload that becomes available on the request.user object this is what we want to get the user session who is the user throughout the application and this we are building inside this 
simple uh, nest.js package so that we can add that inside the apis and the apis can add the routes to the controllers okay so let's go back to our code so this is our simple package right so in this package we need these couple of dependencies more uh, so this is a config and inside the main dependencies we need nest.js passport firebase admin this is the main dependency and fire passport firebase jwt this module you can uh, look into what it is so it's like firebase passport jwt but now here the token provider is firebase so here you just need to initialize the firebase app which should be singleton single instance throughout the application and then you can write a firebase strategy which is extracting token and then validating so there is only verify id token method we have uh, and then whatever you are returning that becomes available to the request dot user okay this is the default strategy it is going to use so same logic we are going to add in our code and that we are going to put inside our this package so what we need to do is we need to create a couple of things auth guard so inside source i will just do auth guard.ts auth strategy auth strategy.ts auth module because we are going to export this module and we need we can import this module in the api app auth module.ts and then we are going to create a singleton firebase service which will initialize the firebase only once and then there is authentication decorator also we can create authz.decorator okay first of all auth guard auth guard is simple like uh, it is going to define simple extend the auth guard and this is injectable okay i need to do pnpm install for it so it also gets node module this package because this package is brand new so this is simple firebase auth guard and firebase auth guard will have a firebase auth simply simple auth strategy associated with that and this auth strategy the name of auth strategy is firebase auth so i will just talk about simple strategy what it is doing and then we have firebase service that is singleton service and what is a typescript uh, singleton service that whenever you call a method it is going to give you just a single instance the static method because if you are not maintaining the single instance then a firebase will complain and your application will be stuck there so you can see in this firebase instance inside a constructor we are initializing the app okay and uh, this is what i'm doing if the instance is not there then this dot instance if instance is there then just return this dot instance otherwise create a new instance by calling this constructor and this constructor is giving you the instance because it is returning the initialized app i mean there are many ways to create a singleton class this is just a simplified one here the instance is a static variable of the class so class name dot instance will give you the instance uh, will call this uh, method like you, you can just call this method from this class name because it is also a static method you, without uh, creating the object of the firebase instance you can call and it will give you this initialized app instance we don't need actually the instance we just want that uh, the firebase instance should exist in the process so that's what we are doing in the strategy we are just calling the firebase instance dot instance it will it will get it will give you the firebase instance and then we are doing simply auth dot verify token if everything is good just uh, return that user otherwise return unauthorized exception from there okay a simple strategy and the strategy name is firebase auth so whenever you implement this auth guard which is where is auth guard i add it somewhere else okay it's in not in the decorator this is the auth guard we have so it is using firebase auth strategy and we will use this guard at the controller level and this is our simple strategy and we are going to use the config module 
and then this is our auth module so what auth module will contain because we have some services strategy passport module all these things so we already have seen how to do this in the documentation like this is my module right so we are just going to just copy paste the code here this is how we did copy paste validate uh, token right now auth module so this auth module is this simple here we are doing passport module dot register default strategy is firebase auth firebase auth strategy is a service and then passport module i mean you don't need to export a passport module so this is simple our auth module right okay so what we can do now is just build this package and make this package available so this change the scope here this is a dev auth okay now i can just build this package dev auth so okay dev auth i can just do simple build and i will add the dependency of this dev auth package in my api app so this is how it works the auth the build is the build has failed because i was having some old code from another package which i need to clean index.ts okay i need to change these things what all we are exporting auth guard just change the export auth strategy auth module auth dot decorator this we haven't okay this is not the what we need to export is there anything else we need to export auth strategy auth guard auth module and then firebase service okay now i can just do simple build again and uh, we will just import this dependency inside our api app this is dev auth i think this is build happening okay I, I will fix this this looks like the the way we are importing the modules are breaking import admin intro or flag this is based on the ts config how you configure it okay so but uh, let's import this inside our api app and how we do it in go to the package json and put this on the top this is how we are importing other packages so we need to make the build successful otherwise how would we able to import so inside ts config it is saying that uh, in ts module enter or flag we can try that go to our package go to ts config ts module enter or true and then do the build what i will do is i will go to this uh, packages pd packages and let's go to api auth and npm run build locally also we can test okay this package is not available so we need to run it from the root because some common dependencies we have installed only at the root okay i didn't don't like this much okay this is error this is fine i can just override the types for now error of type any which uh, we are not using i will just rethrow this exception two errors in two files okay and this is about passport can't find module passport in its corresponding declarations where are we importing passport like this auth card module auth module passport module okay next js passport this is passport strategy okay looks like we also need to add this passport module as a dependency so we can go to package json and add the disk package npm add passport 
and then we will do the build again okay same error i need to run the build from the root from the root of the workspace because it contains all these rim wrap and all these common packages again okay i need to add the typings also so this build is working fine now i added this uh, types passport and now i will add these dependencies because we already have added these dependencies so at the top what we will do is pnpm install so that this dependency gets added in the api app so you can see auth package also gets added here and we can see auth guard auth module is there and this auth module we can add in our api app uh, modules so api app modules source app domain module i think domain module is the place where we can add and then we can start using the guards and services provided by this package so let's go to the controller uh, this is the questions so it depends like on what all places we need to use these guards let's say if i just use guard here use guards and here i can just pass firebase auth guard right now this route is protected without token we cannot access that particular api similarly the post questions but uh, we don't need the guard for this list api and search but for creating questions i have this auth guard enabled so if you try to access this a particular api now if i just start this application so we have this api apps npm run start dev first of all let we need to build it because we have a dependent package so it will fetch these uh, four dependent projects it will build them make the the latest build available and then it will we can just do npm run start dev to avoid any kind of errors i don't like this small error i will just try to retry this but this is how we need to protect the api now the next part of this application is just building these apis okay the apis are very much simple we have created the questions we will create answers like anybody can respond to the questions so we need to pass the question id and you just send an answer payload so we will just reference the questions with the answers and then while fetching we can fetch all the answers together with the questions in the listing apis so we can also provide a simple join with this approach okay so we have this question controller similarly we will populate the question controller uh okay i will just copy and paste come up some of the code answers answer controller and the question module so that is the answer module here the entity will be answer entity i think we are going to use question entity also there so we will just do a four feature both and here it is answer service this is answer controller and this is answer entity just change the references and uh, we will make this uh, simple simple modules with these apis get ready so here we are updating the just existing module so this is answer module right answer module and uh, this is going to access the answer service so here we have answer service uh, answer controller so just change the okay we need to change it at many places answer service and answer service is going to return as the answer service i'm just duplicating it so that we can get this done in exact time so this is answer service this is the controller we got the answer service imported this is the dto we don't have any dto created for this we are injecting answer service inside this controller and then this is search dto we'll just put the override the types for now 
and then this service is create answer question we don't have the list apis okay so we have answer controller available and then answer service this is answer controller and the controller tag will have answers sorry i mean the questions and then because we are adding the answers for the questions so here the, in the inside the routes we will pass okay the path is id this is the question id and then answers we are creating the answer of this particular question but we can have the different api tags so the on swagger you will see a different group of apis answer module uh, it will have answer controller now and this is answer service just change the definition of uh, here answer controller this is answer service inside a main module inside the answer module then if everything is available this is my answer service answer controller answer module answer entity then this module can be imported inside our domain module so answer module okay i mean uh, it's working it's just only about the port which somehow getting consumed so this is the answer module right and now inside this answer module controller you can see what we are creating we are allowing to create the answers and then so what we will do we already have a question id we will just try to see okay question exists if question exists then uh, uh, pass the payload create the answer and pass the question also in the answer so if you just see how it really works is you need to pass the body you need to pass the params param and you need to create a dto okay so we will create a two different details in the answer dto or ts or we'll just copy and replace things from a question dto okay inside answer dto we will just use export class uh, question by id dto that will that would be of type uh, uuid so this is is uuid and this is simple id which we are passing this is simple question id example is you can just copy some uuid so question by id dto and then this will be answer body dto i mean while answering what all things uh, you will be adding you can just add all the stuff here then we will copy this answer body dto here inside this body and then question body dto question param dto question by id dto uh, okay this is the answer controller this is the params import these both the things and then you are, what you are doing is you are passing the params and body both this is the body and then there is a param attribute create answer question i mean this is the simplified way of creating the simple apis now we are creating the answers of a question so first of all we got the question id const id from the params so this id we will try to see if this really exists in the database so const question here we can access this question repo which we already imported dot find but find one by id so we can just apply where close id so if question is there then we are good 
if we don't find the question then we'll just throw okay throw new not found exception this is the nest js exception so it will be handled at the controller otherwise we are just saving a answer repo dot save you are passing the body right so inside body it will be like okay your payload what you are passing inside a body and then question i think that is a question only right question yes because it's a foreign key relationship so it will populate the question id while saving the answer and just return that right so inside body of answer first of all let's see what is required and what is optional in the answer entity because we didn't really put answer text is required question id is required this is default null so this is nullable upvote downvote is nullable comment is nullable user id is also nullable because currently we don't have a logged in user and we are not checking the session right now so question id answer text and uh, question id we don't need because question id is a join column it will automatically pow gets populated through this question id and reference column is the id from the primary key question id comment activity that's fine so answer text and uh, answer text is only required attribute then so we will just provide answer text and then we have tags technology i think these we don't need but we will extend this i mean it's not like we just need only two attributes we will also require the upvote downvote you can also add a comment with your description because the comment is just like a helper text with your answer text which you have added so we can also have a comment which is optional so here if you want to mark it as optional this is how you can do it but answer text is required which is of type string min length is 2 answer body dt we are using now in our controller answer body dto inside our controller this is a question by id dto and answer body dto okay now i will just see uh, this controller is it coming up here in the id yes we are getting question id answers post and if i see if i reload my page i should be able to see the new apis you can see questions id answers this is all about uh, creating uh, the answers of a question id so let's say you are creating a question here currently we added a auth guard so it will throw an error i guess because you can see uh, unauthorized that is correct because we are not passing the token for now we will allow you to create a questions without passing token for now then we will add a simple uh, authentication with the front end okay starting this application again Oh man let's see if it automatically restarts and start the application sorry for this i need to fix it before we talk next on the same example otherwise i will be just killing and starting this application again and again then start dev okay this application is started now and i will just create a questions you can see this question id this question id is required to create a answer i'm just submitting this question id and this is my answer text okay internal server error let's see what is the error here unauthorized okay i did the same mistake again and if i save it it will stop my server again because uh there is auth guard we have already added in the 
response controller and in, inside answer controller so i will just remove this firebase auth guard currently what i did is i made this user id optional but once we start doing authentication this user id is required and coming from the token itself you can see is nullable true here also user id nullable true okay now let's do one thing i will just uh, build these apis and now we will just uh, start also using this auth guard and we will extract the user id from this token we can just generate these tokens from by simple front end setup so let's do that in the next video set up a simple application with the react typescript we already have start adding the components and this firebase authentication so we can extract the token and that token we will serve this to the apis and then api should start receiving the token extracting the user and start populating the user id in the uh, in the database like creating questions submitting the answer for a particular question id there also we need uh, the question there also we need a user id okay so that's it uh, let's do that in the next uh, session so this is like a day two we covered this video now in the next day we will be like uh, more than half be done we will have front end up and running generating the firebase token we have apis available to respond to all the apis i will offline add couple of more apis like uh, update question delete questions add uh, add answer update answer delete answer all these basic apis basic crud operation because there is nothing much to talk about all those apis